Hey, there's the party animal this morning. Oh, please. I thought I was rather tame last night. Dad, on the other hand. Oh, yes. He was a wild man. I've never seen him like that. You know, I called him this morning. You did? Why? Because he disappeared without saying goodbye. So that means he snuck away with somebody. Hmm. <laughs> what did he say when you called him? Nothing. He didn't answer the phone. Someone else answered? No, nobody. Well, maybe you put it off the hook, then. I wonder why he would do that. Do you think maybe it was Lauren? It's a possibility. He was dancing with her. He was dancing with everybody, Logan. <laughs> <laughs> Even Sally Spectra. Sally? No. Well, stranger things have happened. You know, there is a side to your father that finds that woman absolutely fascinating. Um, boy, now you do have me curious who it might be. Well, there's one way to find out. We can pay your father a breakfast visit. And we can find out ourselves. <laughs> So it seemed last night. It's all just a bit, um, it's a bit foggy. That's what happens when you mix all those drinks. Mix all the champagne and martini. Uh huh. Deadly combination. Uh huh. That's funny. I don't, uh, I don't feel all that bad this morning. That's because you worked it off last night. On the dance floor. The dance floor. You and I shared the last dance, didn't you? All coming back to you now, is it? Well, it, not all of it. <laughs> you asked me to come back here with you. What a party. And, honey, you certainly were the life of it. Well, I was determined not to let anything stand in my way of having a good time. Something was working at you all night. You weren't yourself. What happened? Well, I had uh, a little setback earlier in the evening. What kind of a setback? With who? Did Rick say something or do something? No. No, not Rick. He was a perfect little gentleman, wasn't he? 
He looks wonderful. Yes, he's a real charmer, just like his father. Yeah. I really asked you to come back with me last night? Absolutely. Of course, you didn't have to fight me off. You were easy, huh? Easy and free. But not cheap, never cheap. <laughs> This is amazing. I'm sitting here. I've been doing a little work on myself. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Who did you expect to wake up with? Stephanie, I expected to wake up alone. Sorry that you didn't. No. I don't want you to feel. Stephanie, don't tell me how I'm supposed to feel. And the question, where do we go from here, will never be posed. Thank you. I trust you know exactly how I feel about you. I have a vague notion, yeah. Well, if you ever need it clarified. Well, now, who could that be at this hour? Good morning. I hope this isn't too early for you. No, not at all. Come in. I was just, um... I'm sorry. I didn't know you had company. It's just his ex-wife and the mother of his children. Come on in, Elliot. Wait. Well, we could talk about this later. I don't mean to interrupt. You're not interrupting, Elliot. Come on. We're just sitting outside. Come on. So, what brings you out here this early in the morning? I just received word from the county clerk. About what? Your divorce. Is it final? Well, it could be. Very soon. Good. Wait a minute. What, what do you mean, could be? Well, it's a problem. It's not really a problem. What is it, Elliot? Look, I realize that you're very anxious to get this whole thing resolved. As a matter of fact, you could have your final decree within a week. But there is one thing that's needed to facilitate matters. What? What we need is your soon-to-be ex-wife's signature. Sheila has got to sign the final agreement. 